Say hi. Hello. And today we're going to be focusing on an organization, another dynamic nonprofit organization uh, by the name of Growing, Growing what? Boundaries. Boundifully. Boundlessly. Yes. <laughs> Bound boundlessly. Yes. So, boundlessly. again, Chicago, we have a phenomenal show for you. Um, we have a very um, phenomenal young lady, the founder. Yes. Uh, her name is Amari Jackson. Yes. And, uh, wow, they're on the south side of Chicago. Actually, the Brownsville area, 47, just east on 47th Street. Yes, and right, uh, state. Yeah, and I know you have some history in regards to how the area has changed over the years. Oh, my. Yeah, so she's really there in the niche, a nonprofit <laughs> right there in the niche, right where she's needed, Bronzeville. Absolutely. And they do a phenomenal needed. job. Uh, they're focusing on mental health because this is Mental, mental health, health Month. Month. So what that means, folks, is that if your head ain't right, <laughs> Get it straight. This is the month to get it right. Get that head straight, okay? Um, wow. What can I say um, except uh, we do have uh, some information on the website as well. And she's going to be calling in. Yes, she's going to be calling in. Okay. Yeah, so uh, on that note, uh, what can I say except that um, let's get her on the phone. Uh, Amari, um, let's see if she's on the phone waiting for us. Uh, one minute. Technical difficulty here. Mari, are you there? Hi, I'm here. Hey, oh, there's you. Are. Okay, <laughs> excellent. I apologize so much, but what I want to do is take the time and have you just explain to us, because no one can do it better than you, exactly what your organization is about, what you guys have been doing, and let's pick it up and go from there. Fair enough? So, yes. um, say hi to uh, Lucretia. Hi, Mari. Hi, how are you? Pleasure to virtually meet you. It, it was it's great to hear you on the phone. Not too too clear. <laughs> but if I didn't hear it right then it, perhaps you could share it with me. Of you, course. You hearing any better? Yeah, I hear, me? I hear. Okay. Yeah. Focusing. Again, we have a technical difficulties here at Can Twenty One, but we're working on it and we have the chief engineer in house, he's doing a good job as well as the team with them. So uh hang in there, Chicago. So Amari. Uh, you've been doing this for how long now? So we've been in business four and a half years. Uh -huh. Originally, it was just myself as uh, the clinician at the practice. And then with the COVID-19 pandemic, mental health completely turned on its head. And so I expanded the practice and we now have 14 clinicians, three wellness staff and a host of administration staff that helps to keep the practice running smoothly. Awesome sauce. Well, wow. it sounds like you guys are all happy campers over there. We're pretty happy, I like to say. Okay. And, um, wow, In mental health. See, the more I speak to you, I start questioning myself. Wait a minute. This is a mental health expert. <laughs> Am I truly crazy or not? <laughs> so I don't know what to say. It's very intimidating. You're more intimidating than a black man walking down the street in Chicago and a police officer come up behind him. That's intimidation. Oh, yeah, you know, I get that a lot. People tell me that this, you know, what I do is very intimidating. But one of our goals is actually to remove that from folks. So one of the forefronts of Growing Boundlessly is to remove the stigma behind mental health services. And how we do that is by having all of our clinicians are clinicians of color. So 14 clinicians of color, we have male and female therapists, we have therapists of all ages that can help to support people with their mental wellness journey. Awesome. And in addition to that, we also offer wellness programming like yoga, mental health workshops that we're having actually 11 events this month for Mental Health Awareness Month to promote mental wellness so that it doesn't feel so scary and intimidating to people of color. Okay, yeah, because, you know, people of color, you know, hey, if anybody going to be crazy, all right, or act like it, right, they say it's us because we've been, as a people, been going through so much trauma, you know, and the trauma is something that's the energy that's it's kept in our minds, you know, it's kept in our hearts and minds. And I'm a minister type. So, you know, we deal with a type of mental health across the board and things like that it's, it's, as well. So we're just trying to go and make sure that we have the right training even as a professional, you know, and you guys meet people where they are. Um, tell me a little bit more about the services you guys offer. So we offer individual couples and family counseling. We also offer group therapy services, massage therapy. 
wellness classes like yoga and small group fitness. We also have Reiki healing, massage therapy, and currently for Mental Health Awareness Month, we're doing a workshop series to help promote mental health. And the two that we have this weekend are actually, one is a paint and sip. And so the painting that our um, artists and also therapists is creating will be mental health awareness focused. And then we also have a makeup and mental health event that is happening on Sunday, and which we're going to talk about confidence, mental health, and also how using makeup. Oh, hey, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute now, wait a minute. You said makeup and mental health. Yes. Now, wait a minute. I'm a guy now. I don't wear makeup. Now, I'm on TV right now, but still, I don't wear makeup, right? Are you telling me that our women has some mental challenges when it comes to their image? And what you found is a solution in regards to enhancing their black beauty? in regards to uh, their mental health compared to what they see in the mirror? Is that what you're saying? And you got the makeup and the, the whole technician, the whole technology behind that? Is that what you're telling me you got? That's phenomenal. Tell Absolutely. me more. Absolutely. So, yeah, so on Sunday, this Sunday, celebrity makeup artist Sonia Simone will be joining me to do a workshop that is focused on mental health and how boosting confidence by using makeup um, can be very helpful. We also currently live in a, so- a society that's very focused on image, right, with social media, the whole boom behind that. So our goal is to help women to enhance their beauty, right, by using makeup in healthy ways, teaching women how to use makeup the correct way to enhance their beauty and to boost confidence as opposed to using it to help quench some of the issues that they are having internally with their confidence. Awesome, so awesome. it's going to be a combination of an interactive makeup class, but also a conversation and discussion about confidence and awesome. self-worth. Well, let me ask you this question, because I understand this woman based is it's founded by you, female, uh, black, you know, it's all point and it's definitely needed. I must share with you that we guys need this type of help too. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, Mother Lucretia here on my left here, she's an etiquette professional, a specialist in talking about not only what you look like, but what you act like. And Mm -hmm. this is going to be a short talk because we're a little behind schedule and everything. Uh, But I want to be able to have her ask you a question or two and then uh, interact with her in regards to how uh, the etiquette element in regards to just being proper uh, to another person plays a role in mental health as well. All right. So, uh, Lucretia, you have the floor. You can speak to him right Hello again, Amari. Hi, how are you? Okay, I, I, do, uh, I do etiquette as well as teach others to become an etiquette instructor. And over the years, I have found that there's very few areas of our lives that we do not have to practice etiquette. And based on what you were saying about the young ladies with the makeup and the hair and what have you, I'm sure after that point, you've got to see, is that giving them the confidence, uh, the ability to be able to go out and use this new look to the best that they can? And it, it goes way beyond showing off, as I'm sure you realize. Can you tell me this, the location of your event that's coming up Sunday? Oh, yes. So it's going to be at our office, which is uh, at 47th Street. So our address is 56 East 47th Street. We're located in Bronzeville. So the landmarks that I like to tell folks in order to find us, we're located right between Sip and Savor and Sean Michelle's Ice Cream, which are also Black-owned organizations that you guys should patronize as well. And we're... Um, between Michigan and Wabash. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Uh, what time is the event happening? And so the website, do you guys bring up her website and stuff like that as well, please, if you can? Okay, go ahead. Continue. I'm sorry, Amari, we didn't hear you. Um, so our website is www.growingboundlessly.com. Yes. Um, and you can also find us on all social media platforms at Growing Boundlessly as well. Uh, the event is from 12 to 2 p.m., um, we are currently, uh, tickets are still open until tomorrow at noon. Uh, we're going to close tickets 24 hours before the event. So if you're interested in attending and coming, feel free to go um, onto our Instagram or onto our Facebook page. The link to those tickets is there. 
All right. Excellent. Excellent. Wow. Uh, and it's going to be going on from what time to what time? From 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. To 2. Okay. Well, it's just two hours. What happens after that? The dynamic networking, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So people can come and network. They can mm. meet other, um, other women who are also focused on confidence. They get an opportunity to talk with our celebrity makeup artist and talk with me and some of the other clinicians that will be there and hopefully make some friends and some other, you know, people in the community that they can keep in contact with. Excellent. Wow. Well, you know, I'm honored. Uh, yes. I know I'm not a lady. Is it for <laughs> ladies only or can guys show up as well? No, you absolutely can attend. Men also wear makeup when they're on TV sets as well. But That's true. And in, in, in movies. Yeah. And movies. movies as well. That's right. We, we do that. And then there's the models. There's the models as well. So it's for men, women, and for everyone who falls in between on that spectrum. So feel free to come. Anyone who feels that they could benefit from this workshop can feel free to come. Okay. Well, we're going to end the conversation right now. But before we go, I'm going to ask you a, a motto. What is your motto? You know, when you talk about your organization, you know, we all have what this calls an elevator pitch and all that. You know, you're the inspiration behind this whole thing. You know, what's your model? If the dream came true for you and it sounded like it is, what would it look like for you? Just give me a, a, a 30 seconds of that and then we'll be done. So Growing Boundlessly is a holistic wellness collective dedicated to providing mental wellness services to black and other indigenous people of color. Our goal is to help people of color build a boundless life by helping them to take care of themselves holistically. Wow. Can I add to that? <laughs> Can I add to what you said? Because that was yes, perfect. Absolutely. But not only to care for themselves, but to also care for others. Absolutely. Because that's absolutely. the key. And that's what we do here at Focus on Causes. And we're honored to have you as a guest today and to be able to do what we can to show that we care about you, your organization, and what you're doing for our community and for mankind as a whole, because that's what it's all about. Love one to another. Thank you so much, Mari Jackson, for joining us for this episode of Focus on Conscious. And well, mom, you have anything you want to leave the young lady I with? I would. I would like to say, let's, let's make this the first of many and see how we can be of a catalyst to hooking others up to know that she's there and what services she provides because right now mental health to me is neck and neck with our physical health excellent, excellent. absolutely excellent yes. amari thank you again for being thank here you. and thank, thank you, you for watching and please spread the word about what we're doing here at focus yes. on conscious thank you and causes <laughs> thank you yes. so much and thank you all for having me oh you're welcome great. thank stay you stay blessed well. now bye-bye bye-bye and bye -bye. for you chicago continue to spread the word focus on causes right here on can tv 21 and you can go to our website focusoncauses.com mom thank yes. you for being here as well and to all you seniors this is your girl. <laughs> All right. Until next time. Goodbye, Chicago. Bye-bye. Wow. Bye-bye. I didn't know what they were.